Hi, I'm Cider Spider, and I'm on a journey to get every available achievement in Final Fantasy XIV. This monumental grind takes countless hours of gameplay over the span of several years, and I'm taking it on one week at a time. So, let's get started. Alright everybody, welcome back to Bosnia. If you watched last week's video, you probably already know what we're up to here. My primary goal right now is this achievement here. Close Encounters of the Zadnorn Kind. In order to accomplish this, I need to finish every single solo duel on Zadnor. I got a lot of practice on them last week. They're still very difficult, but I think this week we're gonna get some of them done. You may also recall I was working on this one, Sons of Bazia, which is 10 Sons of Fortitude, Valor, and Sucker. These are the defense, offense, and healing buffs that you can spend extra experience on after you cap in Bazia. And the funny thing is, after a long, long Sunday grind, I didn't manage to clear any duels, but what I did manage to do was collect enough metal to get the last couple suns that I need. So, we're gonna be starting this video off pretty strong. Let's go ahead and trade in our 20 million metal. This brings me up to a total of 10 proofs of metal. I'll trade five for my ninth ray of sucker. And then, I'm going to trade five more for my 10th ray of sucker. That's a lot of lollipops. Huh. I didn't know there was a cutscene for this. We could never hope to repay all you have done for us, but know that so long as Bazia stands, our people shall never forget the hero to whom they owe their freedom. Angry? I'm gonna punch him. You've been awarded full honors for your contributions to the Resistance. And there it is. Sons of Bazia. Ten points. Oh, this is cool. Look, I get a little emblem here instead of, uh proof of metal counter. It's kind of a mixed blessing, it's a little bit sad because now there is actually nothing that I can spend metal on anymore. It's completely useless now. It's like I've put every single Digimon in my Pokédex, and now I weep, for there are no more cards left to collect. Oh, but anyway, that's only the beginning, of course, because there's something else I noticed that I'm awfully close to that I was not expecting. So before we get into the front and actually start fighting and working towards some duels, let's talk about the field notes. Here in my inventory, I have field notes on the bog part two. Now, field notes in Bosnia are extra bits of story about each of the NPCs that happens to be there. There's plenty of interesting information here, but more importantly, there are plenty of achievements here. There's 50 notes in total, and they're all dropped from different skirmishes or critical engagements. Most of them are very common, but a handful are extremely rare. The rarest ones are guaranteed drops from the duels if you clear them. And normally, that's where you would get this note, Debog Part 2. But there are also skirmishes that have a very low chance of dropping them, and I ended up getting this one without even realizing it. And since both the Lion and the Menenius notes drop from the Dalriata on a rare chance, I've already got both of those as well. Which means, since I have the Debog Part 2 note now, I've got every single note from the duels on Zadnar, even though I haven't cleared a single one of the duels yet. I'm just that lucky. So let's go ahead and read this. Bam! Look, there it is. Isn't it beautiful? But here's the thing. So, you might notice my total here, 49 out of 50. If I've already got all of the rare notes, what am I missing? Well, it's note number 34. It's slightly uncommon, but it just drops from a regular skirmish. So, uh, yeah. If I can get that note, I'll get this achievement. Complete all Zadner entries on your field record, which will then give me this. A complete history. That's a lot of achievement points tied to just a stupid scrap of paper. So, before we even start worrying about duels today, I'm gonna see if I can farm this note. But, before we do that, there's something even more important. And as you guys might know, there's only one thing that could be more important than an achievement. It's glam, idiot! Since we finally got a new title, I can uh, swap over to The Emblazoned. But since I am in fact emblazoned, I'm basically a decorated war general, and I can't be caught wearing just any old fatigues. Uh, oops, this is awkward. Well, I had a pretty cool glam planned, but uh, this is level 90 top. I can't glam it over my level 80 gear. Uh, plan B. All right, well, after about an hour of going through every healer top in the game, this is probably the next best thing that's below level 90. I had to kill Cruise Chaser for this. So yeah, let's go see if we get lucky with the field notes. I don't have very many attempts before I gotta start stream. As far as I know, the skirmish that this note drops from is just one of the ones that kinda just spawns. You don't really have to do anything to make it happen. Generally, if you just wait like five minutes, it'll be up. Are you kidding me? Whatever, let's go bully Pagaga. Bro, she killed me. All right, now it's personal. Let's do this. Okay, bye, dummy. 
Super Soldier Rising, that's not the one I wanted. Running out of time, I'm gonna have to get it on stream. We'll see how it goes. So at this point, it was time for the Tuesday stream on which I continued struggling for duel attempts. Amidst all the suffering, we actually did accomplish some things. That's left arm slash. What? <laughs> I stepped out of it. I was clearly out of it. Oh uh, yeah, never mind. I moved too soon. Usually I move late here. I actually moved soon. That's kind of that's really awkward. Ah. Uh. Why did I run into it? Uh, all I had to do was sit in the middle. Um. Yeah. No, I botched that. Okay. That's a big knockback in it. Oh. No, I guess not. Oh. This is fine. This is not fine. Ah. Uh, I should have done the swift. Oh wait, my swift wasn't even on. Yeah, I was screwed either way. I could have popped the re-raiser and maybe lived, but... I was hoping Resin Volum to get me through that. That was a really awkward time to re-raise. Oh, it's too bad. It's too bad. Got my light curtain. Let's get raid food on, because food buff does work here. And we need every advantage we can get. I just need to not be nervous. Let's, uh, let's just do this thing, huh? What else is there to do but it, right? I really should bind this to a button. I can't really use it while I'm moving. Or becomes a problem. Alright, impetus. We got a right facing arrow. This is where we need mana wall. Uh, this is the one. If you don't mana wall that, you basically die. A oh, proactive munition. Hold on. Ah! Stop moving. Gotta stop real early. He can be, uh, he can be really temperamental with this. Alright. This one means I need to keep moving or I die. Alright, we got dark shot. That means after tempest, it's gonna be far. Impetus is forward. Oh, god. Oh, it's too close to... A gunbird. I'll be real, I really thought that that was gonna happen after the, uh, after the impetus. <laughs> Got that out of order. Alright, this one's on the north wall, so we're good. Damage is there, but it's close. I really hate this attack. Cause for mouse movement, it's no fun. We're good. Here's detonation. Detonation is half the fight, so, uh, the death debuff's gonna be a problem here. Impetus. Did, uh, why didn't I get hit with the impetus? Did I dodge it or something? You guys see that? I don't, I don't have buggy in this fight? Yeah, that's really weird. I've never had that happen before. Okay, here's impetus. Let's see if it works this time. It's left facing. So this one, we want to go here. And then... Why did it not work? <laughs> impetus keeps not working. It's really, like, throwing me off. <laughs> it's so weird. Indiscriminate debt. We don't want to be away from that. Guys, this is enraged. Oh, I didn't use my dissipates at all. This is it. This is all I can do. That one death, guys. That one death worth 6%, 5%. If I didn't die, if I'd used my dissipates. Gamer on time. Thanks so much for that follow. <laughs> How did I re-raise the... <laughs> I didn't even know that was possible. Why is this fight so glitchy today? Dude, this is really weird. All right, I return. I didn't bring mana wall. Guys, I didn't bring mana wall. I knew I forgot something. We might be able to res this. This is awkward. No re-raise. Oh, I had a 30% chance of that happening, and it did. I forgot mana wall. I mean, hey, eventually, eventually I'm gonna win a duel. It just will happen. It has to. I'm more concerned at this point with the field note, because that's the one that's like, there's there's no guarantee with that. At least with the duels, whether or su whether I succeed or fail on the duels, really just depends on my own skills, you know? If I fail, it's my own fault. If I succeed, it's my own fault. The field notes will either drop or they won't. It's out of my control. And what do you know? We get another attempt at them right here, right now. I need to see some field notes here. It's gotta happen. All right, show me the notes. BAM! It's just that easy. Idiots, just get the notes. Dummies. <laughs> Alright, y'all know what time it is. It's certifiably that time. Let's go ahead and give him a read. Easy. And there's Annals of Liberation for 10 points. Followed by... A Complete History. 20 points. Yeah, there it is. We completed all our Zadner entries. We completed all of our entries. And now I get the best mount ever. You want to see anger on a level you've never experienced before? Let's see it. There it is. The Aulicleel. It's a two-seater mount. So surely I would sit on the seat of the mount, right? No. No, I gotta sit up here. Angry. This is my chair. Woo-hoo-hoo. Wee-hee. All right, we're off to war. <laughs> oh, nobody can stop me. I'm the best. So yeah, this is like like basically the worst mount ever. I think it only shows up at the very beginning of FF12. I don't think they ever use it again because it like breaks down or whatever. But pretty much, it's an armchair for Balthier, and the hood ornament is a bunny girl in lingerie. Like I have a finished 
FF12. I didn't even get halfway, but you know, I want to think that maybe at some point, maybe somewhere along the the tail of FF12, Fran will have a, an interesting and uh, fleshed out character, a unique reason for being there. But for the most part, she kind of just every now and then says something and then stands around in lingerie. So I mean, like you know, I mean, I give it a ten out of ten. <laughs> Best character. Last time I died because I forgot the mana wall and I didn't re-raise so I couldn't skip the mechanic. This time I have the mana wall. That should not be a problem. The biggest issue with Menenius has been damage. I swapped loadouts, now we're running profane, so I gotta be a little bit careful with my health, but we should have the damage. Alright. Northwest is all the way out in the center. And Ruination has come. So this is where we want to swap mana wall in. I... Okay. <laughs> I pressed the button really early. <laughs> I've been missing all my energy drains. It's bad, but uh, our damage is still honestly fine. Oh my god. I'm not used to this keybind. I have to reach down to H and it's really throwing me off. Uh, yeah, we gotta get center for that. Whoa, that was really close. Okay, we're at half the fight and we got him to 40%. That means our damage is looking good. I don't remember what the gunbird was. Okay, it was... <laughs> Whatever it was, I just did, uh, you can knockback mitt that if it's knockback, so I just did that. Uh, uh, that's bad. We're fine? Okay. I was, I was aimed right at the mine there. Six <laughs> percent. This one's all the way in the corner. It's safe here. This is our spot. Okay, we gotta run. If we stop moving, he kills me. Detonation, we gotta get out, away from the mines. Easy. He's gonna cast in rage. <laughs> Just kidding, he's gonna die. There's Might Makes Right for 10 points. Uh, holy crap, finally. We did it. Oh, <laughs> uh, we actually did it. It took all the way until the enrage cast, but we got the damage. I, I was playing real shaky, but holy crap, we did it. Oh my god, thank goodness. Oof. That is a load off, I gotta say. Like, it, it got to the point where, like, it was so routine, it wasn't really that stressful. It was just like, I was so glad to be done with it. That's a, a much relief. Thank goodness. Uh, appreciate the fanfare. Y'all are goats for hanging out and watching. Appreciate y'all. Thanks for all your help and support and everything. I can't believe it took us over a week to get a duel, but, like, phew. I'm so glad we got one, but there's still two more, so <laughs> still two more, so we can't relax yet. Okay, here's the hard mechanic. All right, so I'm tethered to the clones. I think this is actually the easy one. I need to be like right here. Oh, oh, I was standing in front. Okay, I need to be on the other side. Yeah, I, I misread that. Um, or rather, I just didn't read it. It's not that I misread it. I just didn't even try to read it because I didn't look where Lion was facing. I forgot that the, that I needed to do that. Hoping it wasn't this one. It was. JP Dodge. Okay, we're good. <laughs> All right, we're good. Oh, oh my God, no! Oh, I tried to holster swap and it stalled me, so I couldn't dodge. That was stupid of me. And then my re-raise didn't proc. It was a holster swap. I got frozen by the animation. All right, it's ads. That's easy. Let's pay attention to where Lion's facing. That's what matters. So, okay, it's hard mode, kind of. Ah, oh, I stepped into it. Yeah, no. I went in too close. I gotta get a feel for how big that AoE is. Oh my god. I just had not quite enough space. I needed to go toward the boss a little bit. That's right arm limit cut. Double boss knockback. Sorry, double uh, tower knockback. Ah, uh, botched that so bad. That was soft knockback into big knockback. All I had to do was go through the boss there. Oh, oh, left arm slash. Bro, I was out of that. What a scam. So yeah, that was a great stream with some pretty awesome progress. A lot of people have asked why the stream footage tends to be lower quality than the regular recordings, and unfortunately it's because my internet is McDonald's tier. So when the bandwidth fluctuates, the stream quality adjusts to match it. My upload speed is slower than the average in the air raid, and no ISP offers anything better where I live. I can only wait and hope that fiber gets installed in my area soon. I bring this up because since I'm streaming a lot more often now, it's likely that we'll have more stream clips in the videos going forward. So yeah. Yeah.
uh, sorry about that, I guess. Anyway, go follow the stream, idiots. Okay, it has been a long week. We are one out of three duels done right now. Three streams chasing after it. I'm, of course, back at zero notoriety. I want to see if I can get a lion duel tonight. Or maybe a debog. I have not got a lot of time to throw at this thing. I've been progging these fights pretty relentlessly. I'm getting to a point where I'm rather confident in my ability to clear debog. Oops, I... Oh... Okay, well, what was I saying about confidence? Oh yeah, this has pretty much been my reality all week. I've got this really bad habit of getting ahead of myself. I focus so much on the actual duel, and then I end up botching the CE and not even qualifying it in the first place. So I'll be watching from the sidelines. Let's see how our goddess of the hand performs here. Okay, we've got an ordained white mage, mana wall and dispel. You actually don't need mana wall in this fight. Is Gamer gonna get the dispel? Oh, you gotta get the dispel. Oh, that's... Oh, no. No, that's game. You can't wait on the dispel. You gotta do it fast. That is tragic. Oh, but yeah, pretty much my life has been uh, spawning CEs, attempting to clear them, and failing at duels repeatedly. It's a special kind of misery that is really testing my love for Bazia. <laughs> as much as I enjoy this content, it is easy to get frustrated with it when you have such specific goals as duel clears, because especially at this point in my Bazia career, there's nothing else for me to gain here in the actual field other than the remaining duel clears and so anytime i'm not progging the duels or anytime i fail to qualify for the duels it just feels like i'm wasting time and there's an hour in between attempts so yeah it's definitely one of the more soul crushing grinds because you see with savage prog with alt prog every time you fail you just pull the boss again you just start the fight over and give it another try but with dual prog you can't do that every time you fail you have to wait an hour to get a chance to have another try. And then if you misread an AoE on the CE, you could blow your chance at a chance. So really it's more like a chance at a chance at a chance. Basically the whole thing is just really unforgiving. And I don't know why the debug skirmish won't spawn considering I have killed dozens of hexadrones. Oh. That's getting blocked by something else. Okay, well, I'm gonna just wait around until Hashmal is up. I think I've already done my part. Oh, the boys are here. Let's do this. Dude, it took me two hours to spawn this skirmish. It should never take more than one. Oh, this is my favorite attack. Watch this. It's like being on a trampoline. Whee! <laughs> All right, easy win. Get him out of here. Now we gotta deal with this situation. This is mildly concerning because there aren't very many people in the instance, so it's gonna be a very small hash mouth fight, but the implication of that is that our damage probably won't be that high, and we're gonna have to do all of the mechanics, possibly even more than once. Trouble with that is it's very easy to fail here. So let's, uh, see what happens. It's also worth noting I'm running profane here, so I have virtually no healing output. Oh, and somehow I'm the tank. Cool. Here comes a tower fall. Just don't be under it when it lands, and you win. It really is that simple. Okay, easy. One of my least favorite parts about this fight is that after the control tower, which is going to be this next attack, he has these marching flares that, uh are not that difficult to solve, but they are kind of easy to mess up. All right, so for the marching flare, pretty much want to be right here and dodge into the first spot. It should be safe. It is safe. Heal him, Selene. Heal him, idiot. You go opposite these. These are big boy AoEs. These are large gentlemen. We need to keep running. These are large gentlemen. Oh, God. Help us, Selene. Selene Kung Fu. Dude, it's a bad day to be profane. <laughs> I can't heal for anything. This feels like being undergeared in ARR dungeon. It's like I've gone into Aram Vale with Sastasha gear on. Now I'm the tank. Cool. Just run this way. We're good. We're fine. I've really come a long way, you guys. You don't understand how big a deal it is for me to dodge all of Hashmal's attacks twice in one go without messing up. It's a bigger deal than you might think. Oh my god. Okay, there were only five of us there and a lot of people ate a lot of dirt, so... The chance I actually get the duel is surprisingly kind of high. It's 3.04 a.m. 
I've been playing all day. Yeah, I'm the only one that even qualified. It is the perfect chance to squeak out a last minute clear. Let's see if we can do it. I'm still a little iffy on some of the mechanics on this fight, but I've been getting a lot better at it. Um, I'll try and walk you guys through what's going on as it happens, but this is a kind of a tough one. Uh, it's very easy to make mistakes here. I've been having big problems with just bad snapshots on it as well. So here's what we're gonna do. Open with chain spell, we're gonna get burst slotted in, and we're gonna spam burst. So this is my current DPS plan. It's kind of like staring into a strobe light, but, well, the reality is it's just kind of necessary. Because on Scholar, I actually have some of the lowest personal damage output out of any job. And so this is kind of my best bet. Because burst is a uh, 300 potency, it's a little bit stronger than my uh, my standard attack, and so it's a flat DPS gain over just using broil. Sacrilege, I know, but that's the situation. And so as long as I'm running profane with a lot of burst spam, as well as my fonts of magic, I should generally have plenty of DPS here. All right, we need to get pushed back into the safe spot here. Bam, easy. He's gonna knock me back again. No big deal. So to give you just a general idea of how this boss works, he's gonna do right arm limit cut. That's right, limit cut isn't a numbers mechanic, it's glowing arms and AoEs. So any AoE is limit cut, Um, but whichever arm he has glowing determines what kind of knockback you're gonna get. So right arm limit cut means it's double tower knockback. Bam, left arm limit cut means it's double boss knockback. Now we need to get ready for a, a lost swift in here pretty soon. Let's go ahead and swap that in now. So what he's gonna do is actually spawn these two clones in. They're gonna target me with an attack. All right, that's locked in. Now I need to get away from that. And he's gonna hit me with this. I'm gonna dodge into the safe. And then another attack is gonna get queued up. I stepped out too soon. That's okay, we raised it. All right, for this one, this is where we need the swift. Oh. Oh, that's no good. That's okay, we, we, we raised it. <laughs> We're still in this. It's grimy, but it's okay. All right, that's double boss knockback. So he's gonna knock me into the tower here. Tower's gonna knock me into the safe. We're gonna turn on chain spell, put our burst back in, because we need damage. Left arm slash you need to be out of the way of. All right, this limit cut is different. This limit cut is very different. So here's where we gotta start wooks walking. Let's see if I can get this one right. It is not easy. He's gonna start dropping AoEs while these boys spin. There's the AoE, there's the spin. There's the AoE, there's the spin. AoE, spin, AoE, and spin. What? Uh, oh. I uh, should have re-raised sooner. I thought I was gonna res involve that. Thankfully, nobody was watching that. That was embarrassing. Oh no, somebody was watching! You probably wouldn't believe that I got that mechanic right on my first try, but I have not successfully cleared it any time after that. Oh, thanks, what a gamer. I love the wandering dynamis giga chad. All right, well, seeing as how it's after 3 a.m., I really need to go to sleep, but I'm glad I was able to at least get an attempt in, even if it was an incredibly botched one, but that's the fight that I'm working on right now. Um, honestly, it feels a lot harder than Menenius. And guess what? We're back. I might have time for one more attempt before I have to get ready for stream, so let's see if I can give this another go. Maybe after sleeping on it, the knowledge will have uh, sunk in properly, or... Maybe I'll just die like a chump again. But let's get Hashmal out of our way so that I can actually find out. Wee. Clone's over there now. Always pay attention to the jumping baby. Oh no. I don't like the way this aggro light is turning yellow. <laughs> I'm two people dying away from getting slapped by this Chad, and I really don't want that to happen. Alright, let's get out of here. We're fine. As long as I dodge into this AoE, we'll be chilling. Very easy. Let's get this Chad up. Chads must rise. Try and get some of these gamers up. Oh my god. Why oh, is everybody dying? Oh, I wish I had a chain spell on. Oh no. Oh no. I'm trying to heal this Giga Chad. We got a red mage tanking right now. <laughs> I'm trying to get the gamers up, but I don't have any quick reses. Okay. All right, we're running clockwise. It's easy. Just keep running clockwise. It's easy. Just keep running clockwise. Oh, 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 oh. Oh my god, somehow that didn't hit me. <laughs> that really looked bad. I feel like on any other day I would have got snapshot. Oh no, I'm tanking. Uh, is that a Cronus Lux? Get up. 
No, that's a Manderville sword. Oh, no. If it was a Cronus Lux, I would feel a lot safer. Oh, that's a tank buster. Oh, God. I lived. No. Oh. I lost my dual chance. Why am I running profane? I could have easily heal tanked that. Listen, that one genuinely wasn't my fault. There was little I could have done there. Okay, it's not true. A potion kit would have fixed that problem. Why didn't I turn on a potion kit? I don't even think we got reses anymore. I think we're actually gonna just fail this. At 8%, no less. Oh, third eye? Third eye gaming? This Giga Chad Samurai's gotta pull it through. <laughs> oh, bro. We literally failed it. Oh, that's too bad. All I had to do was turn on potion kit. I'm very annoyed at myself, but, well, so much for that. At this point, it was time for our regularly scheduled Thursday stream, on which I had a few more attempts and probably some rum. Okay, we're gonna step into the safe. Those guys are gonna get ready to fire. Oh, I stepped out too soon. I did not re-raise. I saw the green and I thought it was time to move. You move after the second AoE. Got ahead of myself again. All right, let's uh, do this the same way we did last time. Chain spell was good. Left arm metal cutter. Same as last time, guys. Okay. Then we move into the safe. And then we move out of the clones. I didn't move out far enough. We got one more re-raise, maybe? Alright, well... No, I didn't. Oh, I forgot about the swift. That's game. Okay. That was a lot cleaner. Alright, easy clone pattern. Easy clone pattern. Alright, this is good. Alright, as soon as those take aim with the green marker, I move out of them. Alright, he's gonna knock me back. I need to step into the safe. And then out of the clone attack. What? That was really weird. All right, we gotta keep doing mechanics here. What? That was really weird. What? That was a scam. What happened there? Okay, let's just practice. I, I, I can't believe I didn't have an essence. I thought I had one on. What? Uh, speaking of cringe, I had the timing wrong on that. Arm unit, he's gonna like half knock me back. I think here is fine. Yeah, here's fine. We. Oh, yeah, it was not fine. You need to go through the boss on that, dude. That was so bad. And yeah, that is all we got this week. I know usually I don't use quite so much stream footage, but it just kind of worked out here because Zadner is just the perfect content for uh, streaming. It's always good fun to get together giant groups of people to do uh, big zone stuff like that. We witnessed a lot of dual clears and had fun hanging out with a lot of gamers. But unfortunately, I spent so much time in Zadner and uh, you know only got the one clear, so... I didn't end up having time to clean up some of the, the miscellaneous stuff I wanted to do on the side. I've got a couple of, like, crafting, gathering achievements that are- Ow! Oops, we crashed. i got a couple of crafting and gathering achievements that I'm still kind of close to and that I wanted to knock out, but, uh, didn't end up getting those. But that's okay, we've got plenty of time for it. The annoying thing with duels is, uh, unfortunately, unlike crafting and gathering achievements, there's not really a guaranteed rate at which you can, uh, obtain them. There's a lot of variables and it's, uh, kind of random, so, you know, how fast you're able to get those achievements is going to depend on how skilled you are at the game, how quickly you're able to learn the fights, and also how lucky you are at actually getting attempts at them, you know, even uh, qualifying for them and then getting chosen. And so, yeah, it's, it's one of those uh, categories of achievement that uh, can be kind of annoying, since usually I try to set specific goals each week and work toward those goals. I'm hitting a wall again. But yeah, obviously with duels, uh, it's not entirely within my hands if I am able to get one weekly or not. And so I'm glad we did get a clear this week. I was hoping to get more than one to make up for last week, but it just didn't end up happening. But I've reached a point now where I've had enough experience with uh, the two remaining fights, Lion and Dabog, where I think I'm actually nearing ready to clear both of them. So hopefully I'll be done with them soon. It'll be a nice bookend to all of our Bazir progress, excepting, of course, Delibrum Savage, which I still have yet to do. But all in all, I'd say things have been going pretty well. On a less game-related note, I did want to say that I am uh, currently ramping up to get into the swing of doing two videos per week. Friday will always be the Achievement Series, but uh, I want to get Monday videos to be a thing. Ideally, it'll be the time slot for the Mentor Roulette Series when I get that up and running. But I might also do some miscellaneous stuff in there as well, and I've got a video planned 
plan for next Monday, so hopefully you'll look forward to that. But anyway, I could probably ramble all day if I let myself, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get the heck out of here. I'm already way behind and I need to put this video together, so let's, uh, ah, dang it, I ran into a wall again. Uh, Ed, anyway, roll the outro, idiot. Freaking bike sucks. So that's that. I ended the week with a clean four new achievements for a total of 50 points. This brought my LOL achievement score up to 16,210, which increased my world ranking from 144 up to 141. It was a pretty productive week, all things considered, but we've still got so much more to do. So I'm going to get back to suffering in Zadner and streaming one pixel at a time. One like equals one pixel. Okay, bye. I'm excited to partner with you, Yoshida-san, to help save Aorzea.